Head coach Gary Cunningham and his Bells introduced before the CCS D1 title game played in 2006 among the Bells' current Oakland A's star Mark Canna. Eric Adele on the mound playing five years in the major leagues on the hill for the Bells. He gets the K there. Casey Burns starting for Valley Christian and Burns pitching very well. Happy to get a strikeout of his own. No score, bottom of the second inning. Now here is Mark Canna for the Bells, reaching out and sending a blast to left center, but tracking it down, making a fine catch is Justin McPherson, and we stay scoreless. Top three, still no score as Josiah Rodriguez sends a blooper to shallow center. That one drops. Rodriguez races into second base with a stand-up double. But Goodell gets the called third strike and gets out of the inning, and we stay scoreless, and that was a big deal for these Bellarmine Bells fans who are out in big numbers in this one. Bottom three now, Goodell getting some defensive help, a shot to the hole in the right side. First baseman Eric Johnson diving and throwing to Goodell, covering at first. That's a great play by the 6'5 junior first baseman. But with one out, the Warriors get something going as Swanson singles up the middle just past the diving shortstop. And then later with runners at first and third, the pitch is in the dirt. The catcher can't find it. Racing in from third is Swanson, and Valley Christian takes a 1-0 lead in the fourth. Runner now at third for Valley Christian, and this pitch skips in the dirt. Tim Biederman comes in to score, and the Warriors take a 2-0 lead. Bottom of the fourth inning now, and here's the big blast. Two runners on for Bellerman, and Nate Garcia takes this one high and deep, and it is gone. A three-run blast for Garcia, and just like that, the Bellerman Bells take a 3-2 lead. The University of Santa Clara Bound Senior with a monster blast for the Bells, and as the fans in the stands will tell you, that is nasty, Nate, and that home run was nasty. Eric Johnson now at second on a single, and an error that brings up Nick Aurelio, he sends a shot to right field, scoring is the pinch runner Sam Montgomery, and it's 4-2 Bellman Bells. Top five Warriors looking to come back as David Garcia ropes a sharp single to right to get the inning started. Garcia steals second base, and then with one out, Daniel Hall chops it in front of the plate, and that's all sorts of trouble. Hall is safe at first, Garcia at third. Runners at the corners with one out. But the Bells get out of it. A big bouncing ball to Will Dungoni at short. He tags the bag and throws to Johnson at first. That's a double play. The Bells hanging on to the lead in the sixth. The ball chopped down the third baseline. Jumping on it is catcher Tommy Medica. The throw to first. A great play in a tight game. Tommy went on to play for the San Diego Padres in the major leagues. Seventh inning with the Bells up 4-2. One on for Jonathan Hughes who sends it up the middle. That's a base hit. Next up, Michael Reeling. He sends a line shot up the middle to put runners at first and second with two outs. The Warriors down to their last hitter. It's a strikeout but the ball is in the dirt. And when the throw gets away at first, the Warriors get a run as the pinch runner. Thomas Burns scores to make it 4-3 with two outs. Runners at the corners now for Jared Swanson, and he sends a sinking liner to left center. It falls between the fielders. Scoring is reeling, and Valley Christian ties the game with two outs in the seventh, and they were happy. Still two out runners at second and third, a slow roller to third. Here's Grant Bauer with a great play, just getting the out at first. Eric Johnson picking it out of the dirt. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Two on for Grant Bauer, and he ropes a pass short, racing around third and scoring is Aurelio, and he scores what appears to be the game-winning run. The Bells storm the field to celebrate the dog pile and everything, but wait, the Warriors say the ball hit the umpire and then goes into the outfield, so the runner should not be able to advance as the ball is dead at that point. Slow it down, and you see the ball does hit the umpire. The two sides bring out the rule book, and the runner goes back to third. The final out of the inning is made on this fly ball to the outfield, and we go to extra innings tied at four all. Bottom eight, runners at the corners for the Bells. Eric Johnson takes off from first and stops, and when the Warriors throw over, Mark Hanna takes off from third, and Hanna is safe at the plate as the Bells celebrate for the second time in the game. The Bells winning their third CCS title under Gary Cunningham, and Bellerman went on to be named the Team of the Year for the State of California in baseball in 2006. Finished ranked as the number three team in the nation by USA Today. A huge game by Nate Garcia, who ended up getting the win on the mound in relief. Also with that big three-run home run for the victorious Bell. And here they are after the wildest final game in CCS history, the Bellerman Bells. Congratulations, guys. Right here with me, senior captain Tommy Medica. Tommy, talk about this game. It was, it was crazy, but you, you ended up winning it not once but twice. Well, uh... 
It was a huge hit by Nate. I mean, he's been coming up clutch all CCS for us. Every time we need a big hit, it seems like he's the one who's up, and he always gets the job done. Two home runs here, that's huge. This one to put us up in the lead, that just got us going and kept us rolling the rest of the game. Yep. Outstanding job. Eric Adele, the starting pitcher today, was great on the mound, a junior on this team. Eric, talk about what it was like out there, how tense it was for you guys. Oh, it was great. Just a lot of fans out there. I just got out there, I just tried to relax, and just once the game started going, it wasn't too bad. You guys, it was great. What about the finish today? Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> That's great. We got Which, to celebrate twice. I, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Nate Garcia here had the big bomb, the three-run homer. Congratulations yeah. on that, Nate. Nate, uh, we can tell you now that Nate is our Cal High Sports CCS Baseball Player of the Year. Congratulations, Nate. What was this season like and to finish it like this? Oh, it was great. You know, our number one goal was to win WCL. Then our number two goal was to win CCS, and we accomplished both of those. It was great. Right. First championship for the Bells since 99. Feels good? Oh, it feels excellent.